I started um, whitewater kayaking when I was uh, way before university. Um, I actually came to Nottingham um, because I used to compete at Home Pier Point, the National Water Sports Centre here in Nottingham. Um, and since I sort of came to university, I moved away from competitive canoe slalom more into sort of expedition style whitewater kayaking. Um, so I went on the British University's kayaking expedition to Mongolia and Siberia, which is all organised by ourselves and the university are very supportive in that. At the moment I'm setting up my own business, um, Fluxedo shirts, we sell men's, men's dress shirts online uh, with uh, dress shirts with designs on the back, so the funky sort of patterns on the back uh, to sort of liven up your black tie event. So I sell, I'm setting up that business uh, at the moment and uh, for casual work I work down here at the arches underneath Lady Bay Bridge, um, taking people kayaking and canoeing and getting them into the outdoors. I do bits of casual work at other, very, other water sports centres, Collect Park and Home Pier Point. Extreme kayak racing is all about, um, uh, you have a white water section river, often it's kind of grade 4 or 5 um, on the scale of 1 to 6 uh, in terms of grading the rapids um, and it's a case of just racing down it as quickly as possible. Uh, we use white water creek boats that are made out of plastic um, and just time trials and uh, the race I'm doing next week is um, the qualification which is a time trial and then you race head to head in the semi-finals so there's two of you racing down the river um, trying to sort of racing obviously directly with uh, your competitor, trying to knock him out of the way between the rapids and stuff, and uh, try and get to the finish line as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's kind of been dubbed as the kind of Iger of the North uh, in the kayaking world. Um, but yeah, I'm quite nervous about the competition. I've never actually seen a section of uh, river myself. Um, just heard about the stories of it. Um, I've seen video footage of it, and it was quite big. Some, some big rapids on it. Going to be interesting racing down it. You've got lots of David Florence, who's Olympic um, silver medal in the C1 discipline of canoe slalom at the Olympics. Um, fabulous uh, athlete. And you've also got Dave uh, Bainbridge, who's uh, at Nottingham University, and he is a freestyle uh, paddler. He's just won the World Freestyle Championships a few weeks ago. Um, so definitely, in terms of the elite level sport, it's, it's definitely a massive attraction for the people that are already involved in kayaking coming to Nottingham, where we've got the home pier point, is, is ideal. This boat is actually designed for kind of expeditions. It's named after the, the, the Everest expedition um, about 30 odd years ago. Um, it's, it's designed so it's, it's, it paddles well with lots of equipment inside it. So when we go on uh, multi-day expeditions, we're, we're carrying all of our tents and our sleeping bags and cooking stuff all in our boats. Um, so they all go in the back here um, in dry bags. Um, so the boat's designed to sort of paddle well in the, in the rapids. Whilst weight, weight, whilst weight down with all our equipment. Um, it's quite a big, uh, relatively big volume boat um, because you're dealing with quite big rapids, so you need like the volume and the weight to be able to push, push through the rapids. Um, it's kind of made of plastic, so it's really hard. They, they have a bit of flex in them, so when you sort of hit rocks, it's not so brittle, um, it absorbs a bit of the impact. Uh, they've got all the necessary safety sort of things, like sort of safety handles here to try and uh, get the boat out of the river. Um, we've got airbags in there, so should the worst happen, I have to like, eject from the kayak. Um, you, um, it's got, got a buoyancy in there to try and keep it above the water so we can fish it out easy. Um, well, I'd like to get into more uh, extreme races. Um, hopefully I'll sort of do myself proud of this race. Um, try, looking to try and get some more sponsorship, because uh, funding my expeditions is getting increasingly hard. Um, so trying to, trying to use this race as some leverage to get some sponsorship would be great. Um, I'm finding the time to plan my next expedition. I've got all sorts of ideas, but just need to sort of uh, get, get, it, get it, choose a destination and start planning my next trip, really.